Hello everyone, welcome back and that ultimate update has finally been released so I also want to show you guys how the boss actually works so I'm going to explain the mechanics of the boss as you can see we just finished the third boss and now we're going to go into the fourth boss it's also renamed Odin Reincarnation kind of um, <laughs> devilish but hey anyway so as you can see the start there's a green spiral in the middle it's a green so i have to go to the green circle pretty easy it can also be red and yellow now you see all the red circles around us uh, in a few seconds there is going to be a red circle on you and just move that's all you don't have to be anywhere special or just 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 move out of the way you see those blue balls don't get hit they can stun you um here you can see the the whole floor is getting into red. Just notice it in time. It's going one to one from the left to the right or from the right to the left. All I have to do is just dodge these blue balls. Okay, so here you can see left, right, right. Wait, wait, left, right, left, left. Which also means you have to go left, right, left, left. See the green area you see every time before this goes? You have to be on that side because it won't be shown again. It's like remember where it was. Here you see green and red balls. Don't touch the reds. Okay, there was a red touch, but that doesn't really matter, I think. Um, just touch the green ones, and here you see one uh, that circle in the middle again. It's red, so you have to be in red. Also, if you don't touch a green uh, ball, as you could see here, just before the attack, um, the balls will gain health points, so just touch all the green ones. Okay, there's the area coming again. Don't touch the blues. Run to the side, and that's all. It's dealing a lot of damage so you won't survive even as a healer. So that's basically all the attacks, just don't get touched by, touched by the blue balls because they will stun you and you won't get healed, so left, 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 right? So three times left, once right, see? You see it green, the green areas lighting up and I have to go to the right so you won't get hit. Uh, if you're a DPS you will but get killed in one shot, as a healer you won't. Now you see the green balls again, you just have to hit the green balls and the balls won't gain health points again just touch them it's red again so i have to go down so the, the circles where you have to be in are always on the same spot um, green is on the left red is on the bottom and yellow is on the right uh, so you just just what just re-watch this video if you still don't get it how it all works and here you just have to run for your life and don't get hit by the blue balls and hope you're getting healed by the healer um, so um, these are kind of the mechanics that the boss has also these things going around and around and around it's okay left right 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 I think yep so, so sometimes it's harder sometimes it's easy to remember um, just don't make the mistake because it just you just have to remember also if you're doing non hardcore mode you get three lives and um, if you do hardcore mode you will get one life. That's all. See now it's yellow, you go to the right, you go in it and just wait for the bloom. And there it is. As a DPS you won't survive, as a healer you will. And we are winning in... Wow, we got 1 minute 50 seconds are done. So the drop rate I thought was like 2 minutes. I mean, it's like over um, 1 in a 2000, that's what I heard. Anyway, I hope you I helped you guys. I hope I hope I helped you guys with the dungeon and uh, good luck getting the ultimate weapon. Also, um, as you can as you can see now, I'm showing you guys the half half warrior ultimate and it's looking very very good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.